All right, so I guess this is more of a reminder than anything else, but you're asleep for a third of your life. Right, so that is hundreds and hundreds of hours that you're gonna be spending asleep. Now, if you don't lucid dream and if you don't utilize those hours, they're just gonna to go to waste. Obviously, you'll be sleeping and rejuvenating yourself, you know, physically, but you'll be missing out on all of these adventures and sort of experiences that you could be having if you just thought, okay, I'm going to use these hours to learn how to lucid dream and control what you experience instead of just sleeping. Because, you know, everyone sleeps, right? I've spoken in other videos about how you can use lucid dreaming to practice skills in a lucid dream and then get an edge over your competitors, you know, by getting these extra hours in, you can practice things that you, you know, your peers or whoever else won't be able to do because they don't lucid dream. Say if you're a martial artist and you're competing in a competition, you by practicing the skills in a lucid dream, you'll get an edge over your competitors who are only practicing in the gym. Now obviously you've got to practice in both both scenarios, right? You've got to practice in the gym and in a lucid dream in order to get the benefits. But that doesn't mean to say that you shouldn't practice in a lucid dream because you can gain a lot of hours over the over your competitors and over the people who aren't doing this. So the way you get started with this and the way you sort of start utilizing the time that most people would just waste is you just set yourself a really really small goal. I found that with goal setting and with you know if you want to achieve something the best thing to do is just to set yourself a tiny 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 goal and then commit to doing that every single day whether it's you know doing two minutes of meditating or you know go to the gym and do one set of exercises because the chances are that once you're at the gym you'll do more because you're, you've spent the effort to get there the hardest part is actually going there and you know getting started as when as with anything the hardest part is the first step so commit to really small exercises or techniques or things that you can do every day like commit to writing one sentence down in your dream journal every morning one sentence or commit to doing two reality checks a day or two minutes of meditation a day and once you've done that for a month or so you know once you've done that every single day for a month you will have built the habit and then you'll be able to build on it. You'll be able to say, right, now today I'm going to do 10 minutes or, you know, 20 minutes or I'm going to do 10 reality checks. And you get to the point where suddenly you've changed your habits and you've changed who you are. So it really just starts with those really tiny things, those tiny things that you do every day. So make a commitment to do one small thing every day, like whether it's meditating or writing your dreams down and make sure you do it for about a month or two. Once you've done it for about that long, it will become a habit. You know, they say a habit is formed within 20 days. I would say it's more like 60 days, but it depends on you as a person. Obviously, some people take less time, some people take more time. But going back to my original point, you're going to be asleep for a third of your life, right? That's a lot of time. That's hundreds of hours. Wouldn't you rather be doing something really exciting in those hours instead of just sleeping and doing nothing? Because let's be honest, you're going to sleep anyway. You're going to either way. You're going to spend those hours sleeping. So wouldn't you rather, instead of just having a normal dream, have hundreds and hundreds of dreams, maybe even thousands, where you can control what you dream about and you can decide what you how you feel. Not only that, but you can also get real benefits by doing this stuff. Now this isn't meant to be like an advert for lucid dreaming, although it could be. This is more just a reminder to you that you're gonna sleep for hundreds of hours of your life. So the sooner you start learning how to lucid dream properly, the the better and you know the more benefit you're gonna get because you'll be able to spend that time in a productive way. Okay, so I know that I I literally just said that I wouldn't be advertising lucid dreaming as if this was like a commercial or an inf infomercial or something like that. That being said, I I have to say just a few words about how about how beneficial it would be if you did lucid dream because a lot of people ask me especially when they hear that I'm into lucid dreaming and that I teach you know that I've got a YouTube channel and everything they say why would I like why would I want to learn how to lucid dream what what makes it worth your time and energy and to be honest there are a number of ways that I could that I could go about addressing this I guess the most obvious one is that you can you're going to have the dreams anyway so so either way, you're going to be sleeping for that time. You're going to be sleeping for a third of your life and you're going to be dreaming for like a large portion of that time. So my question is, why 
if there is the potential to explore your dreams and decide how you dream and what you dream about, then it's sort of a no-brainer. Why wouldn't you want that? Especially when, you know, it's free. Like, you can learn this stuff for free and practice it and, and be able to do it very quickly. So, in a world where that's an option, why wouldn't you want to do that? Simply because, firstly, it's possible. Um, and secondly, you're going to do it anyway. Like, if, if I said to you that you're going to, for the rest of your life, you're going to have to do an hour commute on a train every day for 40 years. And then I said to you, right, you have the option of either doing that commute without just, you know, just sitting there and doing nothing. Or during that hour commute, you have the, the option of, you know, watching a film or playing a game or learning something or practicing a skill or earning money online. Like, it's such a no-brainer because you, you're going to have to do it anyway. So if the, if the two choices are you either sleep for, not 40 years, but you either sleep for a third of your life and that's it, or you sleep for the same third of your life, but during that time you lucid dream and you decide what to dream about, you decide what experiences to have. Like, you could fly around a skyscraper, you could talk with an alien, you could literally become any form or shape or concept that you want to imagine, you could literally do anything. And not only that, but it will have real benefits in your life. I, I'm sure you already know this if you're watching this channel, like this is about lucid dreaming, so you probably already know this stuff. But this is just for those people who are aware of lucid dreaming, but they don't know maybe why they would want to start or why they should care. Because a lot of people just don't seem to be bothered. Like they've heard about the concept, but they don't really seem to care or you know care enough to devote five minutes a day to learning how to do it and that's really all it comes down to is at the end of the day if you practice this for five minutes a day and you know obviously you can work up to longer periods of time but if you just devote a few minutes a day to being more aware of yourself to writing your dreams down that is all it takes in most cases to be able to lucid dream over the over your, your over your life you know and so it blows my mind when people don't take this opportunity and don't do it it's sort of like a, a low-hanging fruit in life. It's a really easy opportunity to get more out of the time you're already going to be spending sleeping. This video has gone on long enough, so if you do want to learn how to lucid dream really quickly, I have actually created a really simple uh, system called the Lucid Dreaming Bootcamp. You've, I'm sure you've heard me mention it before. And uh, the reason I mention it so often is because I'm really proud of it and it does actually work. Um, but in a nutshell, it's basically for 30 days, it's a series of exercises and things that you can do, like an obstacle course almost, like a lucid dreaming obstacle course, uh, that you can do every single day in just five minutes, you know, five to eight minutes a day. And if you do these things, if you if you do these exercises, and they're not hard, you know, they're just they're just different. If you do them every day for the 30 days, you are guaranteed to have a lucid dream within 20 days. If you don't, obviously you can get your money back uh, and keep the boot camp because I really do believe in this and I've had almost no refunds on this on this whole thing. So it really does work. You can read people's testimonials at the bottom of the page that I'll link you to. You can either click the link in the description or you can go to howtolucid.com forward slash bootcamp. Um, you can read reviews of this stuff online. You can, you know, I've screenshotted loads of, uh, loads of testimonials on the page for you, like people that have emailed me or messages or, you know, anything like this. Long story short, it's a really effective program that I've put together based on what actually works, not just based on what would sound good in a marketing ebook or what might sound good on on a sales page. It's, it's based on what works and what I've proven to work and what works for a lot of people. So it really is worth your time. If you are interested in lucid dreaming, you should definitely go and check it out. If not, obviously, it doesn't matter. Just subscribe to the channel, keep watching the free videos, and you'll lucid dream. This is just sort of a way of... The bootcamp is a way of fast tracking or you know fast forwarding your your results and making it happen faster not now and certainly not maybe tonight although it's possible uh, but it's more just fast forwarding it and putting it on putting some sense of urgency and priority on it so that you have it faster um, and you'll also learn a lot more than i could ever explain in these videos as well um, so if you are interested in that then go and check it out alternatively if you're more of a visual learner, I have actually created a really high quality video course on Udemy, which is also in the description. You can get a massive, I think, 70% discount on that as well. So if you check the link in the in the description right now, um, you can go and check that out and read reviews of that as well. Bear in mind, it's fairly new, so there won't be a huge amount of reviews because I've just launched it, but that's why there's a discount. So 
go ahead and check those out. And in terms of like updates for the channel, I want to make this a slightly more personal experience. I've tried to reply to a few more comments, but if you're if you're one of the people who are subscribed to my channel and you leave a comment as soon as I post a video, I'd like to say firstly thank you so much for, you know, keeping the engagement there and actually replying to the stuff I post because it lets me know it lets me know what you want and it lets me know what's what's going to be interesting to you and what's not going to be interesting to you and obviously I'm grateful that you guys express that so clearly in the comments. On the other hand, if you're one of those people who, like I sometimes am, you're sort of a subscriber, but you're not really, you don't really comment or, you know, engage with the video, you don't like it or share it or whatever, that's, that's absolutely fine. But just the more you comment and the more that you sort of let me know your opinions on my videos, the better I can make them. And obviously if I see really popular comments that have been upvoted loads of times where people are saying like, make a video on this particular topic if i see that then obviously i can do it and i can make a video and i can help you guys um so if you are one of those lurkers who uh, doesn't like to comment too often try and you know consider just leaving the odd comment even if it's just even if it's just upvoting somebody else's comment you know everything like that helps because it lets me know what you guys want to see so i think that's enough that's enough talking for today's video it's gone on a bit longer so sorry about that and uh i'll see you next time done